G'day there, I just thought I'd post a um, short video about my batch heater that I built. Here's the ambient temperature at the moment, just under 22 degrees Celsius. And we'll just swing over here, and there's the box. That contains my batch heater. I'll just take a walk around. It's basically a large box. A, um, selective solar glazing that I recycled from a, an old burst solar flat plate collector and you can't really see through it but inside that is a 250 litre hot water cylinder and the inlet here cold water straight off the mains down in here what we call a duo valve it's um, very important that any water that's not heated to 60 degrees Celsius is protected from flying backwards into the drinking water supply duo valve comprises an isolation valve that's it there and inside there's a check valve so that no water can flow backwards because the batch heater doesn't always heat to um, 60 or higher degrees there's the potential for bacteria to grow in, in the water that's contained inside the 250 litre tank. Over here we have the outlet. It's simply piped across along the house there. And that's where it ducks inside to my inside water heater. So what's happening is we're taking the mains cold water from down here. We're taking it through the batch heater in the large box over here it's heated by the sun and then fed straight in to my inside water heater I've just put a little valve and an outlet here so that I can measure the temperature so we'll just do that now water in this line hasn't moved this morning so we'll just run a little bit off to get water to come from the outlet of the tank. Alrighty. Here we go, I don't know if you can see that. Not working very well, is it? There, not a bad angle. So it's still early in the morning. So we've had a, an hour or two of sun on the heater and with outlet temperature 29.3 degrees Celsius. And again, we'll take a look at that ambient temperature just under 22 degrees. So we'll have another look at that this afternoon and uh, give you an idea of what it does during a day. The aspect of the batch heater it faces near enough northwest um, just because of space constraints along the side of the house here the house here and the chimney we couldn't get a full duration of sunlight but the sun rises out over there and tracks across to there so of a full arc we're getting probably two-thirds of the available sunlight in a day on the collector panel uh, generally from sunrise until about uh, 2 30 3 o'clock in the afternoon so we'll take another look at the temperature then I know well, as promised we'll check the temperature ambient's just under 24 it's uh, getting on in the afternoon we've had about five hours of sunlight on the batch heater since we last checked the temperature so we'll have a little look here Try 
trying to find an angle where we can um oh shoot. There we go. As you can see, it's um, it works fairly well. There's been no other draw off of water from the tank since we last checked it. So it's essentially a static test. It's getting a bit too hot to touch that pipe. That's not too bad for five hours of sunlight. So there you go. Let's turn that off. So the tank inside is um, a mains pressure steel cylinder, glass lined. I painted it black with some stove, uh, like pot belly stove black paint. And I made a cradle out of uh, treated pine. You can sort of see it there. And the thing sitting up off the ground uh, to to keep it dry, and also I can put a an additional panel on it as an auxiliary thermo siphon on the front here. When um, when winter time comes around, we should be able to continue to get some decent work out of it. The shadow's just starting to come across it now. You can see the. The edge of the shadow there just starting to creep across that's the the chimney that shadows it the other things that i did that are worth mentioning both that tank and the one inside have sacrificial anodes oh, there we go that's what remains of the sacrificial anode out of the batch heater 250 liter tank in the box over here so we took that out we put a brand new anode in to protect the tank from corrosion and this one here is a sacrificial anode from the tank inside so it had maybe a little bit more life in it but it was wise to replace it um, at the same time so I went ahead and did that because it's a mains pressure system, there are two temperature and pressure relief valves on the system. If we can get that without being too bright. Where are we? This, this outlet here is 1000 kPa temperature and pressure relief valve on the tank inside the box. Uh, water pressure here is about 500 kPa. So that'll relieve if the temperature exceeds 99 degrees or um, 1000 kPa of pressure. Then we'll go inside. So this is the inside water heater. The old gulf pipe there is where the cold water used to connect. And the half inch copper coming through the wall is the new connection. This tank is fitted with a 1400 kPa pressure and temperature relief valve. So it says dual safety. I'm actually a bit concerned that the batch heater might boil uh, come summer when we go away on holidays. What I think we'll do is we'll open up this valve up here. We'll shut off the control tap, the duo valve down here. That can be turned off this valve here where I take my temperature readings can be uh, left open and the system will be open vented so that no matter how much energy the sun puts into it it won't burst a pipe or cause any damage to the um, internal plumbing and that's about it thanks for watching cheer out Alright, well as you can see, it's late afternoon now, the thing's practically fully in the shade. So we'll do one last temperature reading. 
This is probably important to note, this thing tends to bake in the box. So the insulation that I stacked around it plays a big part in how much heat it retains. And this is a good illustration of that. Just get this going. Take it easy on the valve there. And again, we're just waiting for a bit of water to run through. The water in the line, even though the line's insulated, does cool off. The water in the tank uh, tends to hold its temperature fairly well until it's drawn into the inside tank for use. Again, we haven't drawn any water off today, so that we can give you some fairly accurate reading. There we go, so that's made a couple more degrees since last time we checked it. Turn that off and the ambient she's sitting on about 22 degrees now the temperature of the water going in from the cold water pipe this time of year is about 18 degrees celsius so all in all that's not too shabby